Hi, welcome back to Genesis Custom Sabers, and this is just going to be a quick video of some of the features of the Rice Real-Time Internal Configuration Editor as it relates to the Petit Crouton 3.5 in this Sabre, which is set up with a color extender, 7.4 volt battery, uh, a Tri-Cree RGB LED, actually it's ro red, green, royal blue is the best for mixing, uh, and the Rice port. And so at this point I've got my Sabre plugged into the Rice cable. Now whenever you start an operation like this you always want to touch a metal component on your computer, the USB port or something, with your finger to ground yourself. There's no static electric, uh, electric shock or static electric discharge. Then you want to plug in your Rice cable um, to the computer, open up your Rice window, the Rice program, make sure you've got the drivers downloaded, and then finally plug in the Rice to the Sabre. So I'm going to pull out the kill key and uh, I'll get the boot up sound and we're ready to go. So uh, the first thing you're going to want to do, and now you're going to see that the the rice window is going to pop up in your screen, is I want to make sure that the Sabre is, is connected. Um, so I want to go over here to Auto Scan, click it, and then uh, you can try the different COM ports in your computer. It'll list how many you have. I happen to know that COM port 3 is the one that works. You can go through and try what I'm about to show you to find the right one. I'm going to click COM port 3. I'm going to turn on the Sabre. Sabre turns on. I'm going to go to Override, which gives me the, the override feature of the Sabre. Sound volume is one of those. So I'm going to drop that down. Oh, I heard my Sabre volume drop. So lift it up, take it down. So I know that it is now connected and ready to go. It's a quick test. If I was to slide that volume slider and nothing was to happen, then it's not connected. Uh, so now that it is connected, I want to go and I want to mess around with some of the LED colors. Now, I'm going to go over to LED, I'm going to hit Read Config. Now that tells me what the LED is set at, it tells me what the current uh, sound or color profile is, it's on color profile number 6. If I want to change the color profile, hold the auxiliary button and tap the power button. So now I've changed to another color profile. I'm going to go Read Config, oh, now we've moved up to color profile number 7 and you can see the settings here. So uh, I've got a setting of uh, this is my blue, this is my green, and this is my red in a Sabre like this. I do BGR. A red, I never want to exceed 700 milliamps. With these other ones, I can go up to 1 amp. So uh, if I want to juice that up to 1 amp, 988, let's just play on the safe side. You could overdrive it a little bit, it's not going to kill anything, but I, for Sabres that I do for sale, I like to keep it at 1 amp. And I want to juice the green all the way up. So now I got a really nice ice blue. Uh, so I'm going to go over to the Flash on Clash. I don't have to save that just yet. And I want to test the Flash on Clash. Yeah. Kind of underwhelming. Reconfig, yeah, we've still got that. So I want to do Flash on Clash, current one. I'm going to give it some juice. Current two, I want to give it pretty much max juice. And then current three, which is red, I want to go out right up to about 700. Oh, so I get a much brighter more impressive flash on clash. I want to save that. Before I do, here's a w one thing you want to check. To get the best performance out of your Petit, Petit Crouton 3.5, make sure all these boxes are checked. You can play around with what happens if you check only two or only one. You get different effects, but it's, you get best results you know, for all intents and purposes, but all three checked. Go back to this. I read config. Yeah, we're still on current profile. So I want to store profile. Now it hasn't saved it yet. Remember that the color profiles are in the override. So if I was to hit save configuration on soundboard, it wouldn't save the color profile. I want to hit save override. And now, color profile number 7 is saved the way I like it. So I'm going to test it. And my saver goes back to the setting that it was at. Read config. Oh, I can see it's still on color profile number 6. I switch to color profile number 7. There's my nice setting that I was after. So that's just a, a quick rundown of how to save, uh, how to how to switch it and save some of the features uh, uh, that of the Crystal Fo or the Petit Crouton 3.5. Of course, there's a whole bunch of other things you can do and change in real time, and uh, and save either on the configuration, save on the override. Um, you can uh, you learn how to read the configuration, and really you need to just play with this to kind of learn all the different things that you can do to uh, optimize your Sabre with the Collector Lab soundboards and the real-time internal configuration editor. Thanks again for watching.